here today to make Gavin Williams see that we mean business. It's the Pioneer Academy that have stepped forward now, that have been chosen to take over Molskin Primary School. He just needs to listen to us, the parents, the children, the staff, the community, and just revoke the order. We don't need it, we're a good school. We've already made three different Academy orders walk away. Um, this is the fourth one, the Pioneer Academy, and we're not going to stop. We're going to keep fighting until we win. The wider community, staff, the parents, the children, the whole of Brighton really backs this campaign for staying within the local authority, but yet we've been forced to join an Academy yes. Trust. Yes. Um, despite Offset having two monitoring visits already undertaken, and uh, both of them said we're on a good trajectory. Of we are on a trajectory, we are on a trajectory of improvement and we're going up all the time. It's been proved. Yes, Ofsted has said it themselves. Even despite COVID, yes, Mount School has done amazing yes. work in the community with the children. We've got the highest um, SEND in the whole of Brighton and Hove in our junior school. Um, we cater for all children of all backgrounds, all cultures. With academies, they're so quick to get rid of SEND children because it doesn't look good for their school. And where we've got so many SEND children in Mount School, school that if we turn into an academy, it's those children that are all going to suffer. We have a huge support for the special educational needs, children with additional needs. We have a lot of free school meals. We give lots of extra support, which is not always funded. Academies don't have to teach national curriculum. They can teach whatever they like. Basically, in a lot of academies, it's just maths, English, science, and that's it. No arts, no music, no nurture. We have to think about the environment. We have to think about all sorts of things. We need critical thinking yes, people absolutely. for progress, yes. definitely. Yes. And I think that the bigger picture tells me that this is not wanted. We are a school. We teach our children how to share, how to care for each other. That's what we want. We do not want to be brought into a privatised situation where the children and the community are not represented. That's not what we teach. We teach to work collaboratively, and that's what we want. Gavin, when he passes the motion, do you mind if we just quickly take a picture of him giving them to you? The, the little boy? Yeah? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I'd like Moleskine Primary to stay as the school as it is because I used to go there and I'd like to see my child grow up in Moleskine School as well. I came here when I was younger. All my children have been to this school and done perfectly well and all my grandchildren come here. Please do not turn it into an academy, we're fine. Hello, I'm Nicola, this is my son Dylan. Um, he's a member of the school and he absolutely loves it. Since he's been there, he's done amazing. And his maths and English are fantastic, aren't they? He's met a lot of friends, the teachers are amazing. It's a good community school. Malscombe School is a great school. Always looks after the local community. All children with needs, whatever type of needs and I believe it should stay a community school. It's a lovely, friendly school. The teachers are fantastic. The kids get nurture, they get looked after. It's not all about how quick they learn. So we don't need an academy, we need Do it Do you want it to go into an academy? No. no. Unfortunately, forced to academise two years ago after a two year struggle to stop it. At the moment, John Rowan is seeing its SEND provision and its autism provision totally decimated. We've got 32 staff, in, one in a dedicated specialist unit, and um, various SEND teachers who've all been told their jobs are being deleted and that uh, there will be 12 posts to run this all of these things but it will be an improvement somehow that we're going to lose 20 staff members and they've all got to reapply they want to get rid of send kids 
because they want to go up the league tables. And the only way to go up the league table is to get good results. And unfortunately, they consider the results that most seven children will get not good enough. really starting to rub people up the wrong way with his comments and his letters. It's just about power now, it's not even about the children, it's not about their welfare, it's not about their happiness anymore. It's just about him trying to say that he's got one up on us. We've been up outside some of their schools up in Kent, we protested up there, we've been up and protested outside Lee's work offices. Sir Deceit, Sir Larceny and Sir Racketeer. Hello gentlemen. Good day, Good day everybody. So Sir Racketeer, maybe you can give me a short summary of what is happening today. Yes, we are from the MMA, the Moleskine Mums Academy, and we will be taking over the Pioneer Academy head office and subsequently all their schools. We had a look at their property and premises and feel it is a nice chunk of money we can swallow up. It is a nice bit of profit, a school, let alone 10 of them. Ah, are the trustees of the TPA parents, pupils and staff on board with this decision? Absolutely not. But to be honest, who needs them to be? <laughs> They're merely subjects. We, we will do away with all that democratic nonsense. Who needs the participation of staff, parents or community? <laughs> <laughs> so basically, you are forcing yourself onto their school, community, parents and staff without their backup. Absolutely. Absolutely. We will give the people some iPads and most parents will roll over. Job done. Nobody will ask us how we got the money or if we even have it or if it's going to come out of their children's funding for their education. Uneducated plebs. Oh, but what are your plans for the staff and the children at school? Increased class sizes, fire staff that are too experienced or critical towards us, of course. Hiring in out quick cheap staff so that we can cut costs and get rid of undeprivable pupils to enhance our profit and statueries of Port Ofsted. Who's school? Our school. Who's school? Our school. Who's school? Our school. Hands off Moleskine Primary School. Hands off Moleskine Primary School. Here is our declaration of parent signatures. We have 91 children registered already to leave the school if you step in and take over our school.